Hey, 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 I think I'm live here. Okay, what's up, what's up? Happy Saturday, everybody. Uh, hopefully this makeshift um, rigged <laughs> phone holder holds up. So I tie my, I take a hair tie, but I do not have one of my like really uh, stronger, sturdy hair ties. And I put it around the um, rear view mirror and I like makeshift this. Anyways, we'll see how this works, guys. And I know I normally do not, um, actually I'm enjoying coming live. I did a training, this, uh, small training this morning inside one of our prospect groups. And um, I actually like going live on a Saturday. So Julie Burke coming to you live. How's everyone doing as you tune in? Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm going to be talking to you how to take a cold prospect and turn them into a hot prospect Boom, immediately, okay, through uh, social media with authenticity. So this was a question I was asked, so I wanted to come on and do this live today because my son is in Pump It Up at a birthday party and I'm sitting here bored out of my flipping mind. <laughs> um, anyways, he's like almost eight years old, so... It's like that time in your life as a mom where you're like, do I stay or do I go, right? Like for birthday parties, when you drop off, you're like, do I drop off my kid or do I continue to stay at these parties? And now I'm pretty much just dropping him off and letting him do his thing. So I'm in the parking lot of Pump It Up. We had soccer today. We're, I'm at Pump It Up. Then guess what? Right after here, I got to take him to football. So <laughs> it's been a crazy Saturday. Let me know. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you're doing um, on the Saturday. And of course, I don't know if you could see my back window. It's raining. It's gloomy. I know, right, Lisa? Go pump it up, right? Get him to burn out some energy. Um, our little one had soccer this morning. It was his first game, so it was super exciting. But yeah, let me know where you guys are tuning in from and let me know what you're doing on this Saturday. Um, and also, you want to share this out um, because I'm going to be talking to you about something that is always a question I get. And recently, Megan asked me this question. She sent me a message and I wrote it down here. She's like, hey, um, I would love for you if you could talk about how to be um, authentic in my post while attracting and engaging with an audience that I do not personally know. So I'll talk about two things. I'm going to talk about posting and I'm going to talk about when people actually do reach out to you. I'm sorry, I keep getting all these notifications. So this is super important because I have built literally my entire business um, on social media. Uh, so if you don't know my story and if you are um, new to who I am, my name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of Create Success with Julie.com. Um, I have a training company and I am also a network marketer. I've been in network marketing now for six years. I built uh, seven figures inside the space of network marketing. So I know a thing or two, right? Um, and with my new company, I started last June. Um, literally, I want to pinch myself every day because I have grown that probably I've 10 X what I've done in my previous company in the matter of 10 months. So pretty, pretty cool there. Right. And again, building 100% online. Hey, what's up, Dana, North, North Texas. Yes. Um, is it warm there? Is it warm in Texas? I don't know. It's pretty nice here in Chicago. It's like fifties, but it's guys, it's just gloomy. Um, so anyways, and what I specialize in is really helping home-based business entrepreneurs actually build their business from home, all right? Because guess what? I had a business where I was doing parties and I was doing coffee shop meetings and this and that. And I will tell you right now, that is not the way that I really wanted to build. So how do you build um, authentic relationships? I feel like this is one of my fortes. People are like, how have you built such a, a huge following utilizing your um, business page? And it's because I have literally put in the time and I continue to put in the time to build these relationships with people, uh, with all of you day in and day out. What's up, Bill? Bill's in the house. I miss you, bud. Um, Bill was somebody I worked with in my uh, prior company and just an amazing human being. I love him. So thanks for tuning in, Bill. All right. So I want to answer Megan's question because this is double-sided. So first of all, how, how to be authentic in a post. Um, I don't really, I don't know if I have like this perfect answer, but what I'll say is this, when you want to, when you're posting on social media, um, something I've 
always been taught from day one inside of um, this profession when I was introduced to network marketing six years ago. You guys no clue what network marketing was. I was completely like that person where I had no negative connotation, what what have you. And it was um, it was a good thing, but then it was also a bad thing because then when I did get my first, oh, you're in a pyramid scheme, I really took it to heart, like really took it to heart. Like, what are you talking about? However, getting that objection allowed me to go and realize I really need to become a student of the profession and, and dive in and really understand this. So what I was taught was from day one, create curiosity and just show your lifestyle, like just raise awareness, um, offer the value. I mean, I was taught this six years ago before we're even talking about this, create the curiosity. Um, don't put my company name out there. Don't, you know, put what product I'm taking out there. Like I just was taught this way. So I started utilizing, um, social media in that way. And I put my very first post, you guys want to know what my very, very, very first post was that brought in 45 people. If you do drop me a yes in the comments and I will let you know what my very first post was. And I laugh about it because it was six years ago when it wasn't like, Oh, you got to use emojis and you know, for the algorithm and you have to post like vibrant pictures. And now people are using like the video animated picture. I mean, it's, it's getting kind of crazy, but this is, this is what's happening with social media. Um, so Linda says, yes, Michelle says, yes, Dana says, yes, Nicole says, yes. Okay. So I was in a health and wellness company and I really did have a, a great experience within my first 11 days. Okay. So um, I went to social media, I went on Facebook and I said, um, and it was just a text post and I said, can you believe, so I start with a question and I end with a question. Okay. When I post. So I said, can you believe in 11 days I released six pounds, 12 inches and 4% body fat from my body without dieting or killing myself at a gym. Isn't that amazing? Question mark. I had 115 people on friends on Facebook. I was very new to Facebook at this time. And out of everyone that responded, I had 45 people say, what the hell are you doing? Like, what is it that you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. If you have kids around and you're watching this, I'm sorry. Should not say that word. Um, what the heck are you doing? And of course I got some people are like, oh, you know, drugs, da, 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 like saying all the stuff, which they know I know I don't do that stuff, but I'm like, you know, you have your, your smart butt people that want to respond like that. But I was like, no, this is legit. So 40, okay. Can you imagine, can you imagine setting up 45 three-way calls? Can you imagine that? Because that's what I did. I set up. 45 three-way calls with my upline. It was madness, madness. And that's when I put the brakes on. Eee! No more networking events, no more coffee shop meetings. Like, cause that was about, I don't know. I think before I got my Facebook up and running, I got some friends, like I started the product, like I got my result, but I didn't post right away. So honestly, that kind of put the brakes on everything else. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to set up 45 three-way calls. I mean, it was like this, like dialing for dollars, I felt like. Um, and the first six months, my husband's like, oh my gosh, we don't see you. Like you're on the phone every night after dinner. Cause that's like typically when we did three-way calls. But the thing was the post. Okay. So I was like, holy cow, there's something to this Facebook thing. I need to keep going and need, I need to keep creating curiosity. And then of course, uh, Facebook developed. And then you started seeing a lot of network marketers on Facebook doing it the wrong way. Um, just slamming products in people's faces. This is why I developed a training company two years ago. And I coach people and I mentor people in the space. Actually, I mentor more uh, women entrepreneurs that are looking to actually build an online business. However, through these trainings, through my Facebook lives, I teach how to, to, how to use social media to your advantage. So when you're posting, you want to always post and think, 
is this attractive to the other person? Would I respond to this? So I always, when I go to social media and I'm going to talk about Facebook because that's my jam. That's pretty much where I built my business. I know I'm on Instagram, but I don't do much with Instagram marketing. It's really Facebook marketing. And so, you know, so when I say social media, I mean here, um, I always say if I'm, if I'm looking at, uh, my, I'm scrolling through my feed and I see like a post that goes through, which has happened with one of my old team members from my prior company of posting about their shake or their this or their that. I was like, Oh, like I couldn't stand seeing it. So I know if I couldn't stand seeing, I know it sounds horrible, then I I can't even imagine what other people were thinking. Now, every once in a while, if you want to do that, that's fine. But when you're doing it a couple times a week, uh, I would say probably I would back off a little bit. Um, I would like really just put out one or two power posts a week around your opportunity or your product. I mean, honestly, other than that, it is, it is, comes down to lifestyle. It comes down to what you stand for, your passion, what it is that excites you, the value you want to give people. What do you want to educate them in? Um, traveling stuff about your kids. Um, and then every now and then you sprinkle that stuff in, but you guys, not all the time. So how do you post authentically by not posting and slamming the stuff in, in, you know, people's feeds all the time. Um, because if you want people to reach out and you want people to reach out that genuinely want to know what it is that you're doing. And if you're constantly posting about your business and your company and your product, people are going to get tired of seeing that. Okay. So what it really is, is what people need to understand is it's about authentic connections. So everyone's rush, rush to make a sale. Everyone's rush, rush to get the product in the person's hand, um, hands. But you, you, you kind of have to understand that you have to, you have to massage the process, meaning like you can't just go in for the kill. Um, and that's why we talk about, we're, we're such this information age of where we talk about content, 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 right? Like educating. So when people think of me, they think of a mom, they probably think of, well, she shoots it straight. She's no fluff. Cause if you know me, you know, that's how I, I roll. Um, she's into health and, and, and fitness. Um, she likes to have fun. She travels often. She is, you know, great at marketing. Um, she's a network marketer. So that's what I'm saying. Like, so how do you want to be perceived in the other person's, um, I, sorry, someone's just calling me. So that's tip number one. Um, now I'm going to flip this and I'm going to say, okay, now what if that person, what if you do put out the power post and you are highlighting a team member for rank advancing, or maybe it's your own rank advancement and you're, you, you share it through a story, you guys. You're not just highlighting and saying, yay, I won this trip, right? Like I just won a trip, um, all expenses paid crazy, um, in 10 months in my new company, all expense paid trip to Mexico with some of the top leaders. Like it's, I pinch myself. However, I'm not parading it. That I would post through sharing the story, a story. That's what makes it more powerful. Um, so if somebody is reaching out and they're like, raise their hand, like, Hey, um, I want to know what it is that you're doing. Okay. Um, here's a couple things of what I would do if you, if this is a cold person. Okay. So number one, I post everything public. I post everything public. I do even stuff with my kids. I know that some people are kind of weirded out about that. That's fine. Then just change the setting to friends. It takes like a hot minute, like not even a hot second to just change it to friends. But when you're posting stuff like power post or highlighting or sharing your story or what have you, you want to post that public, right? Does that make sense? You guys, I want you to understand, like people are always worried about like privacy. You guys, there is no privacy in this world anymore. I hate if you're on social media, you're here to play. Like there's not much privacy anymore. Um, I know it sucks, but that's the way our world is. So does that make sense? Right? If it does drop me a heart below. Um, and if you're still with me up to now and this is good, drop me a thumbs up. Let me know. 
because this is the next step. And this is where most people get tripped up, you guys. Oh my gosh, they reached out to me. Now what do I do? Like what? So this is what I need you guys to understand. How you carry a conversation online is exactly what you should be doing. Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How you carry a conversation offline is exactly how you carry it online. It, there, there's no difference. There's no difference. But here's the advantage of online. You could go. So let's say this cold person, you're like, oh God, who's this person? I don't know this person. And somehow you ended up in your friend Betty's feed and then their friend Susie saw Betty's post that she liked your post. Now Betty's looking at your post. You know how many times I met people from that through somebody else liking my stuff or commenting on my stuff that their friend saw it and now is in my my feed and we're not connected through social media. It's pretty cool, right? Um, And so... I'm like, who's this person? So this is what I do. I will go to their wall and check them out. Okay. And guess what? I have friends that I really, I don't know who they are. So I still will, even if I'm friends with them, go to their wall, check them out. And I will see, okay, are they a mom? Like I'll find commonality. I'll find this common ground. Now Sue reached out to me and she's like, Hey Julie, I saw your post. Would love to learn more about X. So this is what I do. I would respond to Sue and I say, hey, Sue, awesome. Uh, Super excited to give you the information. I'm going to private message you right now. But before I do that, I'm going to go to Sue's wall. I'm going to send her a friend request because she reached out to me. And I'm going, if we're not friends, and if we are friends, I'm going to go see who the heck Sue is if I don't know. Um, Because even though you're friends with people on social media, doesn't mean you're really friends with them. Does that make sense, right? Like I have 5,000 friends, which I probably need to clean up, but I'm not exactly friends with all 5,000. So I want to go see what they're about. Find the commonality, okay? And then carry on the conversation as if I was offline with them. Just like if I was meeting Sue at a coffee shop or she was the waitress or what have you. It's really no different. And I'm not slamming the stuff in Sue's face, you know? Um, I have no hidden agenda. So Sue reached out to me. So this is what I would say. I would, I would private, I would go to her wall. Like I said, maybe Sue's a mom. I'd say, okay, cool. How many kids does she have? Okay, great. I'm a mom. I can relate. So I go to her, um, private message her inside messenger, which is a tool I use daily. And my team uses daily to build our business, which is outside of Facebook. Okay. So you need the messenger app. And then, um, I would just start the conversation. Hey, Sue, what's up? I'm super excited to help get that information into your hands. But you know what? I want to back up a second. And I really want to ask you, what is it that interests you in my post? What exactly do you want to learn more about here? Are we talking about the product? Are we talking about the opportunity? Are we talking about weight loss? Are we talking about anti-aging? Like, right? Like, I want to take stock of where Sue's at so I can make sure that I'm getting Sue the appropriate information. Because the last thing we want to do is assume with our prospects. Okay. I'd ask her that. And then let's say Sue was like, I could definitely use some more energy. Well, guess what? I already know Sue has children. And so I can send her a message back and laugh and say, oh, lady, you know what? I got Trust me, I totally can relate to you trying to keep up with my two boys. I see you have kids too um, and with their sporting events. And so I get it. I was lack of energy as well until I took X product. And so then Sue would reply back and I'm sure she would be laughing and she would be talking about her kids. And then I'm like, yeah, this is why half the life I, I, I drink like, you know, my champagne and my wine to keep me sane. Like, ha ha. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just starting to form this relationship that's relatable. Does that make sense? This is how I work with my prospects. This exactly, you guys right here. It is so relaxed. It is so authentic. It's so genuine. And I don't care if they join or not. To me, it doesn't matter because now Sue, if she decides it's not for her, she is in my world of friends. She will now see my post. She will now be connected to me in some way. So if now is not the right time for Sue, then I then there might be a different time that is right for Sue. 
does this make sense, you guys? So how do you do posting authentic and engaging when it's a cold audience? The same thing that you would post on your feed that's just your passion. That's it. That's attraction marketing at its finest. I'm not going to go and be another person and post in my feed what I would never post. Um, You know, I believe, okay, example, I believe in God, okay? Um, I... Uh, I've questioned things in my lifetime um, about my faith when things have gone in the wrong direction or when I've lost a loved one. Like I always question like, why? Like, why did this happen? Right. And I have faith and I believe in God and I go to church and all that. However, on if I started like preaching the word of God all through my, my wall, my friends would be like, is she okay? Like, do we need to know something? So for me, that's not something I would, I preach all the time and people know that. So I'm not going to just go do it just because now I'm, I'm looking to just go preach the word of, of God. Does that make sense to just try and do some, be something I'm not just because I see that people that do preach the word of God have a bigger following that it's just not me. So does, I, I hope that analogy makes sense every now and then, of course, I'm always giving glory to God. And I will say that in my post, but yeah, I don't have like a, 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 a Christian feed going through all the time and no offense to that. That's just not my, that's just not, not me. And so people that know me and follow me, they know that, right. But me posting, working out and stuff about like recipes and nutrition and stuff with my kids and things that, that is totally like all the time. They under they know, like Julie knows her stuff around fitness. Julie knows her stuff around natural living and eating. Uh, Julie knows her stuff about network marketing. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So you, you want to be congruent with the person that you are and don't just slam just one thing all the time in your feed. You got to mix it up. You have to have the variety. It's like the, um, Facebook live I did a couple of weeks ago about picking your nine to 12 categories and then rotating your posts throughout the week around these nine to 12 categories of who you are. I'm a mom. I'm, I'm a family person. Yes, I believe in God. I love dogs. I, I love my Lola. I love champagne, wine, jalapeno margaritas. I love to have fun. I, you know, I love yoga. I love fitness. Like I'm saying right now. So that's what I'm going to live. Network marketing, social media, all this stuff. Um, so you have to just figure, and I also love talking about mindset because the inner critic, uh, is always raising inside of us and we have to silence it. Okay. So you guys, I hope that helps. Like, I don't know. I just decided to pop on today and kind of talk about that. If that helped, I'd love to know, leave me a comment, just say absolutely. And I really, really, really appreciate it. If you found value, like I said, definitely share it out as well, because a lot of people struggle with the, the conversation you're supposed to have. And I do suggest using, um, the audio button inside of, uh, messenger. Oh my God, girl. Yes. Jalapeno margaritas. Can we just like give them a clap? They're the freaking best you guys. And I'm leaving for Mexico this Thursday. So I want a trip to Mexico in June. Um, two days after I come back from Disney with my kids and my husband, where we got, it's a crazy month. So I'm gone for a week in Disney. I come back for two days. I leave for Mexico, all expense paid trip for two, like crazy for five days. I come back from Mexico for three days and I leave to uh, speak at no excuses in Vegas the following weekend. Like, is that not like who doesn't want to live this life? Right. So that's why I come on here and I do these things is because I want to help you guys have success. I want to help you guys grow as well. So thank you for hanging with me um, today. Yes. You guys, we all need a jalapeno margarita. Okay. Let's make this a jalapeno margarita Saturday. I've been sick with this nasty sinus infection and I'm thinking that tequila might be the answer instead of this cold and sinus Advil stuff I've been taking. (laughs) I'm thinking the doctor ordered a jalapeno margarita. So I think I might go get one today. Um, All right, guys, you're awesome. Thank you again. And again, I hope you found value in this. I need to turn off my notifications. Um, Have an awesome Saturday, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.